Hello again, this is Shenrai with another Breath of Fire 4 stream. Because I'm in the mood for more dragon adventures and bad decisions all around. Let's go ahead and load this puppy up. And last we left off, we were in Sinesta. And, uh, yeah. Very bad decisions went down, I think. As though we didn't have enough on our hands. Summary from last time, um... We crossed the dam, which was attacked by yet another dragon, because reasons, I suppose. Um, we wound up going to th this frog lady who sang us a song about dragons for some reason. I, I still don't know why. We went through this weird town called Kyria, which basically had traps everywhere mostly because it was once like the exit point of an escape route that folks fled through during the war so the traps everywhere is really just so that they know whether or not other people are trying to use the shortcut which we wound up using that led us here which was Sinesta the last city known um, or the last lo known location for Alina, the princess that we're looking for. And, uh, after burning so much time chasing kids around town, literally, um, we learned that Alina was essentially abducted by the Empire and was taken to the West. And so our decision was to confront the, um... Oh uh, goodness, the merchant, Marlock, who is this, for some reason, German-ish sounding Manilow, and I think he's like the only one who has that accent in the game. Um, yeah, we basically want to try and get information out of him. He basically says, nah, -uh, if I'm gonna do something for you, you gotta do something for me, it's hit for tat. And now we're basically running around doing shit for him, trying to track down this, um, guy who stole from him, apparently. And the entire time, he wants us to leave Nina behind with him. He was already involved with, essentially, human trafficking in the first place. Why do they think this is a good idea? I don't know. What I do know is now we gotta ask around and see if anyone knows anything about this thief that stole shit from Marlock. There's been a robbery? <laughs> Serves that Marlock right! He steals enough money from people, now that he, he can find out what it feels like. I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> How about you, fellow Manilo? Oh, right, no, you just sell stuff. I think I already got everything I need out of you, though. I've heard that one of the merchants here has some kind of deal with the Empire. I wonder what kind of person would do business with their enemy. He must be very brave or very greedy. It's the latter, good sir. Unfortunately, yeah. Alright, he's still arguing with that merchant. What about you? You still plan to travel the world? Now, where was that shady looking fucker? Okay, he's no longer where he was before, so we'll have to look around for him. Marlock was robbed? I guess you could call it poetic justice. I've heard people say he's a thief himself. 
Uh, this town suffered the most during the war. A lot of people were injured or killed. I heard some princess or something came on a goodwill visit to a while ago to help lift people's spirits, and now she is abducted. Um, how about you? What? A bandit? Well, I don't know if he's the man you're looking for. But I saw a fellow with a big, heavy-looking bag over his shoulder heading out of town on the Eastern Highway. A possible lead. Well, let's ask around a little bit more. Did I just talk to you? There's still a lot of damaged houses and all, but it's starting to look like a city again. Don't you think? I do think. Hmm. A bandit, huh? You might have better luck asking folks that travel here rather than people like us. He kind of has a fair point, actually. Can I talk to you? No, you're a little too high up for me to actually talk, so I think. Yep. Whee. Allergies. Camera. How about you? During the war, the city was attacked by the Empire with their hex cannon, what they call the carronade. Up until just a little while ago, it was still so bad, no one could live here at all. Information we learned last time, basically. How about you? It's hard to believe that just a little while ago, this place was filled with that horrible black hex mist. Yeah. Anyone who saw my previous stream or the archive of the previous stream probably realized that I'm not gonna remember the voices I throw for these people. It's just not. It's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> I think that maybe one of the only other folks. How about you? Looking for a bandit, are you? Your ears wiggled. <laughs> Sorry. I've heard that people talk about there being a lot of them in the desert. But I haven't seen any around here. Except maybe the ones that own the shops. You know, he bought some water for me just a little while ago. I like the attention, but I just hope he keeps his eye on that doorway that he's supposed to be guarding. He hasn't, trust me. Well, I really hit the spot. Can I go in there again? I can. Do I need to go down here again? Probably not. <laughs> Alright, so let's figure out how to get down and out of here, and then we can go from there. Is there anyone hanging out in the doorway? No? Alright. So, there's another highway. Ha! Huh, we can actually walk right back to Kiria if we want to. Alright. Let's go to the hideout. Ooh, spooky. Anything hiding? Not that I can immediately see. Uh, I think. I think I may have an idea of what's going on here. Okay, let's... Push that there. It's just a hunch. Anything else we could use? Okay, there's another one that we can... Oh, no, not that way. I want to push it this way. Ooh, actually, I could probably just push those... Okay. Because I think I know what's going on here. Um, if we are chasing a fucking fugitive, there's a pretty good chance that what we gotta do is cut him off and chase him around like we did with, um, Chino last time. Alright. Um, burn rest- uh, what do you do again? Risky stuff. You know what? Wild shot. Burn. Eddie.
seems a little overkill. Oh, why didn't they connect? That's the but. Hey! You jerk. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to this one real quick. And push it a little bit like that so I can push it this way. Alright. Let's keep going with this actually. And okay. Oh, this way gives it a really narrow gap. Okay. Oh, come on. I don't know if he can run diagonally like we can. Probably could. But, so long as we can cut him off in at least one direction. And hopefully, this will make this chase a little bit easier. Is that... Oh, I can't tell. I may have just pushed that into a spot that I can't get it out of again. Okay, interesting. He's not actually in here. And this is a rat. Extremely shy, this rat loves to collect toothpicks. This looks random, considering that toothpick in and of itself is lit up. However, I don't have any way to actually steal from him, so... I'll just charge. <laughs> Trying to poison me. Well, if he's not in that part of the hideout... Unless I wasn't supposed to go here yet. So I think what I'm supposed to do is kind of bump into him on the road? Yes! Okay. That is a pretty hefty sack. Hmm. If it's true what they say about there being bandits in these parts, and you were a merchant, you wouldn't just be out walking with all your goods out in the open, would you? Oh there, where are you folks headed to? What's that, bandits? Hmm, nope, haven't heard anything about that. Oh. See, we were asked by a merchant and Smithson named Marlock. Marlock? Wait a minute. You mean he was the thief Marlock was talking about? <laughs> You're not too bright, are you? Oh dear. Let me see. For now, why don't you rub my shoulders, Yuri? Eh? I don't like where this is going. This is what we ran into. If it saved where I had pushed the barrels, let's see if it did. Because if so, it didn't. All right.
Oh shit, I just screwed that up, didn't I? I did. Balls. Alright, um... Let's push that one there. He hasn't seen me yet. Yeah, just charge. Oh, damn. Alright, press and cancel. Okay. Actually, no, nah, other way around. Ryu, Burn, Cray, Eddie, Ershin. Snap, I guess. Wow, magic doesn't seem to do much against it either. Oh. Not that it needs to. Okay. I wouldn't want to be snapped by a robot. <laughs> Ah, damn. Rust. No, actually. Ayrton first. Snooze. Rust. And you just smack the shit out of us. Oh, what? Oh, this is not going how I wanted to at all. But I did get a toothpick. It's an interesting accessory. Um, let's take a look here. I'm not gonna actually equip it, but oh, interesting. So, okay. First off, all right. Now let's take a look. Accessory. Can raise critical hit chance to 5% and is used for eating food. But none of these characters can equip it. Let the find a character who can. I don't think Nina could use it either. But while he is still distracted, I am just going to use this barrel to block off that other tunnel. Because I done derped it up, so I may as well finish the job. Okay. No exit through there? And I think he can only push in the cardinal directions, so... Okay, that will at least make him go the long way around. Alright. Hey, fucker. Catch the thief. Just like with Chino. Nope. Alright, let's cut him off. Alright. Oh, come on. He went down the- he went down my trap. <laughs> eh, oh well. Just army bets. Onward. L let me go. This is my stuff. So what you're saying is that was all yours to begin with. That Morlock sent these really big fellas after me. Maybe sell them every, or er, maybe sell them everything for next to nothing. 
Hmm. I guess it's not really stealing if you're just taking what's already yours. Looks like we need to go back and have a little talk with Morlock. Are we sure we should be letting Cray make these decisions? I mean... I understand... Uh-oh. Enough with this old with the shoulders. I want you to give me a foot massage. Hmm. Creep. But uh, yeah, the fact that we're running around like this and just uh. If anything, what we should have done at least was bring him along with us instead of just letting him go. Because at the very least we would have been able to dispense our own kind of justice by more, more or less, you know, making Marlock either do something in response or just, I don't know. Either way, I do not agree with the current course of action entirely. Alright, let's see how well this doesn't go down. What? And so you come back just like that, eh? You didn't tell us the whole story. According to Matt, man, you were the one who- Idiot! No matter how much I pay for it, what's mine is mine. And I have a right to get it back, yes? Never mind. Alright then. This time I have you do some work where thinking it's not required, yes? Oh dear. Do some work or think he's not required. Blah. Who does he think he is, anyway? Fat greedy saw. Thinks he's smarter than us. Well, you weren't exactly having a good moment, anyway. Ershin says that we did fail to assign... Er, sorry. Ershin says that we did fail the first job assigned to us. She also says that it is unrealistic of you to expect to be giving something for nothing. All right, all right, I get your point. Poor Nina. Because of me, she has to do even more work. Very good, Miss Nina. Now about a back massage. Fucking hell. Well, it's no use standing here and moping about it all day. I have been told that we should complete our assigned task as quickly as possible. That we may return and continue on our mission without further delay. Alright. He said we should go to the Sandflower Wharf north of here, right? Well, let's go. Oh dear. Why the crap is the exit again? <laughs> was it this way? No, it was the other way. Right? There it is. I do not like this town, honestly. <laughs> hey. I mean, I get that it's following, like, similar logic to, um... To Washington, D.C., right? Where... It was intentionally built to confuse, you know, possible invaders trying to navigate their way through the streets and whatnot, but for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know why I'm slow walking through this area, it's not like I'm trying to sneak anymore. Ooh, 
I have the initiative. Try stealing the items in his bag before he uses it on, my, on you. I have no method to steal with, dude. Ah, uh, instead, what I could do... Rock Blast. Burn. Wild Shot. Nearly 2,000 damage there. And then just charge. Jerk. Well, we really gotta level up. He's catching up to Nina. Alright. Let's see if we can find the random item in the area. Alright, so we have Mage Goo, Red Cap, Red Cap, and a regular cap. <laughs> okay, Urshan's caught up. You know what? I'm gonna run around as Ryu for a while, just because I want to. Where the crap is it? <laughs> Yeesh. I mean, at least I'm getting rid of more bandits in the area, but... Ugh. Oh, I didn't know magic. Then it was a good thing that I killed the other one before he teamed up with the flame dude, because I don't know if they can combine magic too. If they can, I'm screwed. Uh, I am not seeing it. I may have passed by it, but we have the initiative. Yeah, it gets rid of most of them. Nice. Okay, I got a waist cloth off of one of them, meaning that I didn't have to really mess with armor in the previous episode. Oh well. Croc tier healing herb, and I'm out of here. What? No, seriously, what? Oh, there's a sign! That's what this area was for. Okay. So what do you say? Looking for a fishing spot? Try the northeastern corner of the desert. I mean, I wasn't really, but... I mean... Sure? Maybe a little bit after this whole Marlock thing is wrapped up. Because, uh... Yeah. Oh shit. Please try to stay out of the way. If we don't finish our work, Mr. Marlock will have our hides. Oh dear, oh dear. There's so much to do in so little time, oh dear. Hmm. The fact that all the workers are stressed out like this 
makes me think that, yeah, no. It's not exactly the best place to be working. Although it does make me wonder if he just has goons or if he distributes punishment himself. What's that you say? You ate up? Well then, let's not waste any time. I've got a job, job for you right here. First, I need you to clean up the storeroom. You need to move all the barrels and jars and line them up where they're supposed to go. You don't need the old barrels anymore, so you can just break them if they get in the way. Pretty simple, huh? Alright, get to it. Okay, so... Alright. Put Cray in front, have him move the jars and barrels. Jars need to be put on the north, in front of the sign on the north end of the room. Barrels, put in front of the sign in the south end of the room. Get old barrels out of the way, smash them with Ershin. Move them quickly enough and you might earn a bonus. One way to finish the job quickly would be to move one jar or one barrel and then destroy the rest. If you leave the room, they'll be reset. The fact that they make the suggestion that, you know, you could just destroy almost everything, it's a little meh. So I'm gonna do this a long way. Alright, so, this is barrel storage. Really? Ah, roaches everywhere. I mean, at least these, you know, these enemies aren't too bad, so there's that, at least. But come on, don't give me a time challenge and then make me run around and, you know, have to kill things while I'm attempting the challenge. Okay. So... Actually, why am I switching over to Ershin already? Oh, did I just get it stuck? Not entirely. Okay. Cray! Quit with your shit! to get all the supplies accounted for and looks like we'll have to find our way up is that our way up cray cray i guess not is that yeah no i don't want to leave Okay, so I push that down. Oh, why do I have to keep jumping around all this way? All right. Carefully around the room. Push that in. Ershin, Boosh. This needs to go out anyway. Okay, let's actually go around and push that in there for sure. Alright, anything blocking 
No, not really. So. Nope, don't you think about it, Cray. Alright, there's those taken care of. Um, that vase actually may be screwed. You know what? Cray. Fuck it. 1500 points. Oh, well, looks like you got everything. Straightened up pretty good. Okay, follow me. Got another job for you. Ah, thank you. I feel much better now. How about you, Miss Nina? A little tired out? Mm -hmm. Huh? Um, yes, I guess so. Oh, you are, eh? Well then. I'll have to give you a massage then, won't I? Yeah, there's something fucky going on here, and I don't like it. Okay, for your next job. You do see the crane over there, don't you? I mean, I came up and investigated it earlier. Use this crane to load all those crates onto the sand flyer. Oh, it's this one. Sorry, bad memories. Um, <laughs> we don't have much time until we set sail. Get to it. That doesn't tell me how to use it. Use the crane to load the freight onto the ship. Move the crane arm with the directional buttons. Circle over the container, hook it, lift it, press circle again, and carry up to 10. F fucking hell. All right. <laughs> okay, so basically, you use the crane to try and perfectly set the crates onto the lit blue squares that it shows you. But, uh, yeah. The catch is, if you accidentally drop a crate onto another crate, it's gonna break. Whoa, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Oops, no. Didn't mean to do that either. Tap 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 No. Oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh man. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why are they trusting people like like me with a crane? I just walked onto the onto the premises. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, Ryu. Real. Oh, for fuck's sake, get it in there. Ah. Come on, I got ninety seconds to go.
Oh, I thought it was gonna break. Okay. Oh shit, Ogata oh, man. I don't know if that timer is faster than I think it is, but it certainly feels like it. Oh, come on. 44 seconds ago. Holy crap. Thanks for your help. Pretty good for a beginner. That was harrowing. Right then, looks like we're ready to pull out. All I have to do is now is Ryu Cray. Oh, thank goodness. I really hope you slap them around some. <laughs> well, out of the go then. Did they do a good job this time? I see. It looks like you actually did some work, eh? Well then, I will give you a tip for a job well done. I got a fork. Yeah, go get something good to eat with this, eh? You jerk. Why in the hell are you carrying around silverware anyway? <laughs> Alright then. I will let you ride on the sand flare as I promised. And I will give you the VIP room, eh? Oh, this doesn't bode well. Blast it! That low down good for nothing. VIP room. Some VIP room this turned out to be. Stuffing us into these wooden crates like this. What does he think we are, cattle? Hey, you're talking shit. Don't make me push you off the sand floor. Hello in there. I will remind you I am smuggling you into the enemy territory, yes? We must all make sacrifices, yes? Be a little more patient, eh? At least this way, no one will find you. Yes. Why are you greedy, low down? Whoa! Cray, calm down! Don't rock the crate like that. Yeesh. I mean. I understand why- oh, hello. I understand why Morlock is doing what he's doing, but for fuck's sake, Cray. You know. I mean, I've already rested, technically speaking, but looks like we're back with Fo Lu. Last time we left off with him- oh goodness, I didn't even summarize what he has been up to. So, after- Waking up after who knows how long because I don't know how long ago the first empire or the empire was first founded um, But yeah, that was because of this guy and Okay, and basically um, He wakes up after his long slumber, but the empire is not exactly uh, Happy about it No, nah, basically they sent a bunch of troops down to try and ambush us, chased us through a forest fire, knocked us off a bridge with one hell of a fire burn, and I guess we washed up on the riverbank, and this guy Bunyan found us, and by the looks of it, nursed us back to health. 
Well, you're looking a lot better. Thank you for your caring ministrations, Bunyan. The time has come for me to quit this place. Fulu. Looks like you're in a hurry over something. I don't need to know, but tell me this. You were on the run from someone, weren't you? Does this mean that there's going to be another war? I did my time. I've seen my share of fights. Something tells me that there's a big one brewing. Thou wert a soldier. Yeah, I was. Maybe it's just because I'm older now. But when I look back on it now, it all seems so pointless. I mean, sure, maybe when the First Emperor started it, that war had some kind of purpose. But it went on for so long, it was as if the war itself became the purpose. None of us knew what we were even fighting for. The war took on a life of its own. The mortals. They understand not. Forgive me, I merely spoke aloud, aloud mine thoughts. Farewell. Can I at least have this? I mean, dude, that looks badass. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know where you'd be heading, but safe journey to you. Thank you. Is there anything in this area that I can actually take? Oh, there is. How can I get back there? I want to get back there. Do not deny me loot. Proteins. Two proteins. Hello. Defense. I probably would need it. Wisdom fruit, not so much at the moment. Alright. Is there a thing over here? No. No, but there are some more glitched textures as a result of the emulation. All oh, these Katie dids in my ears. Or are they frogs? I don't know which one. Well, a snap fly. This monster attacks with fire but cannot withstand fire itself. Now, there's something a little bit interesting as far as the skills that he has now. You may recognize this moveset. There is a reason for this moveset. Hum. Hmm. Let's try it again. Hum. Well, that idea is out the window. I guess just hit it. Yeah. With his ridiculous damage, there's really no excuse for me to have him dicking around with fire. Other than I was attempting to see if I can burn away his defenses. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. How... by what means didst thou find us? Even your majesty is still not fully recovered. You are still a god, one of the endless. Even if you do not avail yourself of your powers, the act of simply speaking your own name creates a ripple in the world large enough that those sensitive to such things can sense your presence immediately. To it appear... That thou wouldst not have us enter the capital by any persuasion. Indeed. Time has that blunted my lord's perceptions. Ah. 
flying leaf owl? What the crap? Kafu. One of Yom's servants uses fire and wind magical attacks. Um... I think it's time to meditate into a natural dragon. No, you piss off with your Eldritch Flame. Ow! Now what scares me about this whole encounter that's going on is Bunyan is act could practically see this going on from his cabin. Alright. Frost Strike, Wildling, Bing, Death. Just use a razor. Anything changed? No. Let's just keep going. I mean, that was some substantial damage, so... Let's skip it this time. Hundred and forty, all right. Truly, really, there's no re reason for me to not keep spamming this. The damage is too ridiculous. Next time I play as Rio, I'm gonna have to do a thing. Skip. There we go. I mean, it's a little sad because owls are awesome, but not that owl. That owl's an ass. Ooh, I got a fire ward. You could definitely use that, Folu. I should have known that toppling your majesty would not be so easily achieved. I had not realized your powers have returned to such an extent. Well, it's true that we have recovered but a portion of our power. I would notice that the a mere mortal, poseth no danger to us. One such as I cannot be vanquished by one such as thee. Perhaps. The creature which your majesty just defeated is but one of many I command. Okay. Furthermore... Unless I am mistaken, I believe that your other half is but recently born, yes? Even if he should be a god like yourself, he would be somewhat easier for us to deal with, would he not? Verily, though I would fain admit it, thou speakest truly. My path then is clear. I must hasten to the capital ere you ere thou find him. Hm. 
Oh, that is awesome. Blast already has enough power to fly! After him! Don't let him escape! Ooh. Oh, come on. How is that so much faster? No, piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Ooh. Dude, what are you doing? Why did you not retaliate? Gah. Thanks much. Yeah, these cliffhangers, they drive me nuts. <laughs> Marlock again. How does that make- how many trips does that make this month? I don't think I've seen anyone who cares about making a profit as much as he does. Tell me about it. Just look at the size of those crates he's bringing in. Yeah, well, it's supposed to have to be like that to make the kind of deals that he does. We're on upset size, remember? What is going on with the... Was that graffiti? Is that... I don't know. I mean, I can't read it, so... Looks like the coast is clear. At least slide the lid back on. Why are you guys not discreet in the least? It looks like everything went as planned. Don't say that just yet, you're still standing on the dock. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> yep, now that we've come this far, there's no way we're going back without Alina. Oh dear. Oh, don't mind us, we're just kind of inconspicuously wandering around. This village is called Kyoin, after the soldiers who guard the Imperial Causeway. Kyoin means people of the bridge in the language of the Empire. Oh, hello. These weapons were brought by the Empire during the war. Yes. What do you have? That again. I already have that. I already have that. I already have that. A crepe. A crepe cape. I'm not sure what you mean by a crepe cape, but... Sure. <laughs> Glass dominoes, soul gems... I mean, those sound nice, but they don't really offer a whole lot else other than an excuse to not use an ambrosia. Or not ambrosia, a uh, ammonia. Earn a flyer with a lot of crates, gaming. I figure it must be old Marlock making another one of his supply runs. What do you got? Lots of items to sell. Don't mind me stepping on them. Just don't ask where they came from, eh? Let's see. Ah, that's all he really has. Uh, you don't seem to have... Well, holy crap, I didn't realize they were that much. But yeah, I'll get an ammonia and save the rest of my money for now. Did you hear that they sent in some troops the other day? I heard they were supposed to be looking for a dragon or something. That can't possibly be related to what we just witnessed. Never mind that, remember a while back that really pretty looking woman that came through here? I wonder where she went. Oh dear. And of course we have Nia just so casually following along behind us, so this can't be good. I can't wait to get back home and see my girlfriend again. 
What am I gonna be able to go back to? Sorry, buddy. They say the Causeway's gate is finally gonna be open again. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to use this opportunity to get back home. We haven't really used the gateway much since the war ended. Hmm. This is the entrance to the Imperial Causeway, which links the eastern continents of Levant to the western one, Hesperia. But do you know what it really is? Nope. It's not really a bridge or a causeway at all. It's a magical gate that can transport people or things instantaneously from place to place. So we have a teleporter. That is awesome. Oh, holy shit. This music is epic. What is this? I don't know what that is. Alright. Up we go then. Oh jeez, this is gonna be one of those things that's just windy and confusing for the sake of being windy and confusing, isn't it? Anything around here? Nope. I guess just onwards. Crystal elevators. Epic music again. What are you? Okay, um, elevator, anything around it? No. Ah. You guys realize you got monsters running around in your causeway, right? Oh, you're a new one. Has a weakness to wind. Ah, well, we know what to do then. Humanoid bandit, you carry a healing herb and some other item. Well, let's burn you. Eh, why not? Eddie. Sever. Mega! Mega! Nice. What is it doing? Oh yeah. Oh hello. Nothing. Nothing. Healing herbs. Nothing. 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 Are, are the herbs really? Yeah, the herbs are the only thing here. What the crap? These stools? Looks like stools. Um. I have a feeling I'm gonna wind up skipping rooms, but. Eh. Alright. Ah, uh, this combination again. You know what? Just charge. healing herb. I'm presuming we go up. If we don't, I'll be surprised. Oh, hello! I will take you indeed. Glass domino. Well, it's something, I suppose. Did I just come from here? I may have just come from here. I don't remember. Yeah, let's just charge him. It was a great victory indeed. Although looking at Curry, I probably should um, shove some apples down his face. I don't know where Ershin is putting these apples and and whatnot, but 
Hey. Oh, there's an elevator. Can I use you to go up? First, second, third. Well, never mind then, because I want to go up, not down. Okay, looks like the last people who used these went up. Oh, I think it was a good call for me to actually um, feed Cray and heal everyone up. So, this must be the gateway, huh? A lift? Well, if that's how we get through, that's cool. It looks like it's been activated. Well, what are we waiting for then? I guess we're supposed to jump in there. Come on. No. On to the bridge. That's far enough. Oh, it's you again. Look, don't stop. Just keep running. Keep fucking running. What are you doing? All right, then. And just who taught you people your manners, hmm? Who do you think you are? This belongs to the Empire. Did you think you could just walk right up and use it without asking, hmm? Well, yes, actually. We don't want any trouble. I don't suppose to be letting uh, to let us go, would you? I'm afraid not. I owe that runt there for what he did to me. That hurt, you know. Good. All right, if that's the way you want it, then. Must be pretty brave coming after us by yourself, Cray. Brave. Or stupid. Cray. Don't fucking taunt people. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. I came alone for a reason. Because I don't need any help to deal with the likes of you. By the power granted me, I command thee. Did you just say that you didn't need any help? <laughs> Imachaf, warrior spirit, thou art summoned. Seriously, though. <laughs> well, alright. The charm is its weakness. Try a combo attack. Gladly. Well, actually, hold up. Do we have... No, I don't think we have anything that actually... One target... One target, one target. Yeah, it does look, look like we actually have something that can... Um, be used on multiple times, unless you're it. Oh wait, no, barrier is for one. All right, back to the original plan then. I was gonna try and buff everyone, but I don't have that kind of stuff on me. Okay, burn, Eddie, sever. Start with a tried and true method. Fifty-three. Mega. That 
that's a little bit better. You know, Chaff is off balance. Don't tell me that put him back on balance. Yes, it did. Fuck. Ow. Okay. Did you have anything else? No. I don't know why I keep forgetting what people have here. Ooh, I know what I could do. Let's see. I mean, I guess maybe, but I don't think he has the abilities to back it up. So... Let's try. You just use Eddie. You follow it up with Sever. And you use Snap. Because if I do this right, he might be able to... Or she might be able to lower defense. Two, three. Even Chef is off balance. And let's see if this can decrease your defense. Nope. Alright. Interesting, you use wind as well. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise, really. Alright. You meditate then, I guess. Now, wind and earth are on opposite ends of the wheel, so I can't really use that to... Um, use those two rather to chain up a combo. And yes, that does mean that he continues being like that. Alright, so. Flame Strike. Wild Shot. And you guard. That's not so nice. Uh, all right. Rock blast. One fire. I think water is the same as burn. So I'm not really gonna bother with that. Wild shot. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that would chain up and work. <laughs> In hindsight. Yes, speed protect Eddie. You know what? Focus. And you just keep with the strikes. Let's just let Cray beat the shit out of him. He 
he's off balance again. All right. You know, just because you still have the AP to do it, I'm gonna have you heal. You. Sure, magic's halved. And focus because sure. Okay, it didn't heal. But that's fine. Attack up. Heal, shield, nice. Alright, you do hua. You sever, you just smack bitch. have some high wisdom or something. Oi. You attack. You know what? I don't think I've actually seen your regular attack. And you... Actually, no. You focus first, and then you rest, and you heal. Kind of a cheat way to recover some AP, but it works. Oh dear. Well, I did see a parry, so that much is good. Alright. Actually, no, you don't need to focus again, you just need to smack him. Rejuvenates and screw it, wild shot. Dude, piss off. He's off balance. Very good. All right, so burn with the rest of them. 
Use Eddy. Use Sever. There we go. That's what I like to see. Defeated the enemy. 2,000 experience. Everyone gets to level up. The only one still behind is Cray, but he learned slow. Got an Orum and an Ice Punch. Isn't that the second Ice Punch I got? I'm a chef, but... But how? Look! So that's all he was doing, was just trying to stall us. The gate, it's closing? Run. Move, go, go, go! Y'all should have been running in the first place. A dragon. But that's not possible. Maybe it is. Which makes me wonder how that would have been coded if we didn't use the the meditate. Well, I guess that means there won't be anyone coming after us for a while at least. And then it whirls back to life. Oh. Still, I don't think the Empire will give up that easy. We better keep our guard up just in case. All right, let's get going. Lena's here somewhere, and I intend to find her. Ooh, different music. Yeah, let's just jump onto the first floor. I mean, I'm sure there were items, but eh, I am not too. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, it goes Pukulu. This is the Imperial Causeway. There's another tower, just like this one, on the Levant side. Considering we just kind of walked out of it, that should be obvious. Did you, folks come, did you folks come from the east? That's... odd. We were expecting Captain Rasso. You didn't see him, did you? Nope, not at all. I know nothing about him. Hello. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come back. He's been sent to, Le to Levant to cause the ca yeah, to guard the causeway from our enemies. About that. <laughs> okay, oh. Okay, this is interesting. So far, most of our adventures has been on this side of the map, right? You can actually see, like... This is where we first crashed. We've been all over the place, going up around this way. Then we warped across... to here. And... these little dots here... are actually where Folu have been. Has been. The last we knew, I think the capital... Is it down this way? That's my presumption since he's going straight south. But the fact that we're here while he's in this ish area. That's interesting. Alright. Let's go to Astana. What the crap is. That's. Inconspicuous. I haven't seen people like you around here before. Well, the Empire is a pretty big place. So I guess it's not surprising there's people like you living in it too. The hell is that supposed to mean? 
Racists. Have you seen the big aqueduct nearby? That's where Asana gets all its water from. Actually, no, but... Good to know. Uh, looking for someone, you say? Well, good luck. There's people coming in and out of here all the time. That's of no help. This is Astana, where the carronade was built. Is that what that thing is? Since the carronade is one of the Empire's main weapons, Astana is also an important military base. There's a large number of soldiers living here. Yeah, that sounds like a perfectly safe place for me to be in right now. Can I get over there? Oh, I can, and I already talked to him. Okay. Oh, crying out loud. So, how do I get around? Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, I go this way. Okay. What's this? Do, 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 do. Another weapon trader? Sure, why not? I only just bought weapons like a hey, hello. Yes. Aw. What can I sell? Raises power when targets. I'm gonna have to use that in a bit. But more importantly, what else we got? We got starting weapons. Eee, the fact that we're still carrying around a broken sword isn't that great. Um, bully knife, pointed stick, fucking fork, really. Waist cloth. I guess we could sell that. Let's see. Prize position of Nina. Got some bait. Got toothpick, a glass domino. I don't think we need another glass domino. Damn it. Still 70 short. Mm, I actually don't use these. They can be nice, but I just don't use them. Alright, so defense up. We are still nowhere near as high as Ershin's defense is, but still. The Krupp Crepe, we already got one of those. Face guards, protects user's face. Do, 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 do. And we'd be about 310 short of that, but I think we may be able to find more of those later. Or ring increases Burr's resistance to mind attacks. Interesting. Talisman death attacks. Hmm. What about you? What do you do? You have a party army, are you? Can I help you? Well, what can you help me with? Okay, so you're just general goods. That's fine. All right. What's that kid doing? What do you think this big gun? Pretty cool, huh? It's called the Carronade. It shoots hexes. They used to they use it during doing the war to blast enemy towns. Boom. Hmm. My boyfriend's one of the guards stationed at Kionin. Hope he gets rotated back here soon. Several women with their, with boyfriends who just haven't seen him in a while, but you know, anyone who has you know military family would be related relatable. Huh? Don't get too many non-military types here. Anyway, if you want to stay, it'll cost you thirty. I have just enough for that. Sure. And I shall save. Uh, I have a feeling that we won't actually bump into Folu anytime soon, considering we're like 50 levels below him. Hello. 
I've heard they need lots of water to cool the carronade after it's been fired. That's why the army built the aqueduct and, co and connected it here. Makes sense. I mean, this is this town is honestly an interesting example of world build, world building for, um, you know, like tabletop games and such. Every so often we get a bunch of strange looking people coming in here. They don't tell us who they are or why they're here. We're just guards, so they never tell us what's going on. Well, that sucks. What? Well, looking for someone? Well, I doubt the person you're looking for isn't here. This is a military installation with only military people, see? Bullshit, I want down. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, basically, the point that I was attempting to make was if you wanted to attempt to make a town, even if it's from scratch or something, there has to be more to this town. But yeah, if you wanted, if you wanted to make a town and have a purpose to it, Starting with something like this where it's, you know, military base that eventually grew into an, a regular town. It's actually not a bad place to start. That's not a way around. Why do I get the feeling that I'm just missing someone or something altogether? Oh. Okay, never mind. Aqueduct it is in. I'm not sure why we're going to the aqueduct, but we are. Another goo. It does nothing but wash, but can power up if conditions are are right. The goo counts. I get the feeling that this thing is like... I don't know. Let's just charge it and see what happens. Goo count is guarding. Looks like it was counting something. Ow! Okay. And we got our in money back. <laughs> okay, actually, now that I think about it, what kind of knuckles should we give you? Nah, looks like. So, a fork is a weapon for Ershin. It's slightly better than her default weapon. Okay. Something over here, it doesn't look like it. Do -do 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 -do. Hello. You must be a repairman, right? Sure. Hold on, I'll power up the gondola. Yes, please. Alright, just a second. I see an item over there. Okay, Mage Goo Flu Goo Goo count. So. Let's start with that and see if that changes what the view count does. Oh, 
Well, he was guarding, so there was that. Let's go again. Goo Cat's grade went up. Looks like it was counting something. It's grade? Okay then. Piss off with your frost. A 12 heal combo. I like it. Alright, then rock blast. Burn. And sever, I guess. We'll see which one chains up. Anyway, treasure chest. There you are. Ginseng. Oh yeah, that's right. Where were you? Okay, so it's an in-battle item, not an out-of-battle buff. I don't think that was even the right word to use. Anyway. Gondola. Fugu made you go charge the. I'm not even two hours in, and my words are already like fumbling all over the place. It was a great victory. Ooh, vitamin. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here first before. There is. 500 zenny. I'll take it. Oh, come on. Here we are. I won't ask why these bridges were put up, but I'm going to presume it was for safety reasons. And fuck, I'm just gonna have them charge. So what's down here, if anything? 
I'm not sure. Oh, that was just good to the other side. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, we just cut bridges so we can go back to the side that we were at before. Lovely. Uh, call me a dingus. I'm just gonna see if I can escape. Yep. Okay, it turns out that, you know, going up was kind of a requirement for the game. <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. Get a crock tear from Igoos. Ups we go. And again. There's water flowing. Do you want to jump in? Not necessarily because it does not look like a safe place for me to go, but sure. Let's just contaminate all the water that is flowing into a major city. This is it! This is the place they're holding Alina. Yes. It's just like Ryu's dream showed us. Right? Don't get your hopes up too much. We still need to find her. Let's go. So basically, we went to the aqueduct, decided to jump into the water, and were somehow able to hold our breath long enough to make it all the way back to the town. Like, through the water system that is supposed to cool down the carronade. And... Somehow... That led us here? With convenient stairs leading down to the water? What the crap? Uh, I don't even... Well, we are back to the area that we saw back in Ryu's dream, and I have a feeling this isn't going to end well. Although if the items are, that we stole last time around are still there, well, that'd be interesting at least. Toxiflies. Uses chlorine, has an antidote. We don't know what lure it carries, but it carries a lure. Let's just charge it. Ninety experience. It carries two twisters. Okay. And interesting that a poison enemy would carry antidotes. Nothing here. A life shard. Interesting, that wasn't what we found last time around. Raising users max hit points, let's... Yeah. Eh. Sure. It's our lowest healing item, may as well. Although that was not the item that we found last time. Last time around it was an Aurum that we found. 
All right, and this is the hallway. Nothing here. A magic shard. Ooh, yay, lovely. Yes, please. Max AP up. Mm. I'm gonna use it on Cray. I mean, I know that Erishin's AP is lower, but I haven't really been using her abilities as much either, and currently they are just, you know, like zero cost abilities in the first place. We didn't go down there last time in the dream. Oh shit, somebody's coming. What then is the status of the sacrifice? It continues to grow, Lord Yuna. Excellent. I'm greatly pleased. Blast, they'll see us. If we walk behind the curtain slowly enough, we should be able to get to the other side without being seen. Yes, Lord Yuna, at the present rate. Oh shit. Phew, looks like they didn't see us. Ah, but we did. Fuck. Shit. Well, no, we can't have this, can we? This building belongs to the Faux Empire, and you are Easterners, are you not? We're looking for someone. Yes, we're looking for my sister. Her name is Alina. We were told she had come here. What do you know about her? No, 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 don't get too close. Hmm? You mean Princess Alina, yes? Yes, she was here. She was a very kind person. She said she was here on a goodwill visit to see people injured during the war. However... Shit. She is no longer with us. What do you mean? I'm afraid it's the truth. Now then. I think it's about time you were on your way, my eastern friends. Ah, balls. And so we were captured and sent back to the Alliance. Fuck. <laughs> we were chastened by the King of Ludia for acting without permission. And Cray was forced to stay before a tribunal to explain his actions. What the hell kind of a holding place is this? Chief Cray of the Warrens. They are ready for you now. Oh, he's a chief! Okay. Chapter 2, The Endless. Oh, goodness. It only took us about six hours, but here we are. I see an item I must have. Are you awake, Ryu? Well, no shit. He's standing there. He's kind of moving around. He, it's... Eh, never mind. Kind of depressing weather, isn't it? I wonder if they're still questioning Cray. Most likely. Why don't we go to the castle? If we're lucky, they might let us see Cray. Somehow I doubt that. But we have an Orm. We could rest here. Mm, let's just write a little bit more in our diary. Oh, it's just two of us. Where's... So where's Ershin? 
Oh, there you are. By the way, this is Skaeus. Skaeus? Skaeus? I can go with Skaeus. He's been inside the watch over us, so we don't run off. Not like we leave anyway. I'd, I would never leave Cray behind. You did at the beginning of the fucking game, lady. <laughs> Erishin said she is bored. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Is that a mirror? I don't know. I'm keeping watch. Where are you going? I'll go with you. So we have a a very tall dog with a stutter. Although, hold on, if he's actually with us... Ha! <laughs> he's in our party! He's at a higher level than the rest of us, but what do you have? You have a Zhang Do, Scale Mill, and a Soul Gem. Overlapping little metal plates... You can use a Bowie Knife. Oh, that is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. For those who have not played this game before, if you did not receive the toothpick in some manner or another before coming here, Skyas here comes with the toothpick. Instead, since we had one already, he comes with a soul gem. That is awesome, because I am going to put that soul gem on someone else. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna stick it on you, actually. You can have bronze. Well, actually, you have bronze shield. I am okay with this. All right, Nina, onwards then. Castle Ludia lies this way. Well, then we won't go there yet. In this room, we were holding a group of people who are part of an incident which is currently under investigation. Hey, what are you doing, Ayer? <laughs> I'm walking. What's it look like I'm doing? I just know there's something in that forest. I mean, you hear voices when there's nobody around. And sometimes you can feel something pulling your hair. Some people say they've even seen... Bit, they've even been bit by invisible animals. Invisible... Animals, sure. I was traveling through the forest when suddenly something pinched my... Well, you know where. Someone or something pinched your butt. Got it. I came here from the south, and while I was passing through the woods, something poked me in the eye. I tell you, that forest is haunted. Okay. Here we use the metal prospected from the dam to make machine parts. Well, that's cool. I don't know how close or far away we are from where we were before, if it's that same dam or not. What's in here? A Manolo. I love Mr. Manolo. It is unacceptable. These factory towns, they do not have any inns. But, I don't know, I'm still open for business. Okay, so it looks like Morlock is the only one who has that funky accent. Cool. Ooh, hello. Cat's Balger. Eh, not enough zenny. That is expensive. Holy cow. A reed baton. For that, that is still also expensive. It looks like I have to grind for a while somewhere. Face guards. Hiccups. Alright. Well, off to Lydia Castle then. This is Castle Ludia. It is indeed.
The prisoner is currently under investigation. No visitors are allowed. I'm afraid that's the way it has to be, Princess Nina. Master Cray is the leader of the Warren Nation. Unlike you, he must be kept under strict guard. What do you mean, unlike me? I'm like the heiress to the Windian Nation. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. Skyas, keep your eye on him. Now I'm trying to figure out what the hell he is, because he's running around with a tail. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to pass. It may take several days to finish the in inquiry into Chief Cray's actions. You should wait in your room in the city. But it's boring in there. It's no use. There's nothing we can do. Poor Cray. This is all my fault. How's it all your fault? You were attempting to find your missing sibling. We can't just sit here and do nothing. I know. Let's get a warrant. That's where Cray is from. Why? They have a guard to watch us. Still, they never said we can go anywhere, right? Let's go. Warrant is to the south of here, past the forest. Ah, uh, Nina, what are you doing? I mean, I guess if we have someone following us around to keep an eye on their behalf, sure, but... Nina, what are you doing? Alright. So, since we're gonna have him running around with us, let's also see what else he can do. Oh, wow. He can do it for a bit. Frost Sleep Shining Blade. Ooh, I like that. You can only use three of it at a time, but I like that. Can heal and purify. And Frost finally gives us a water spell to play with. Well, I guess out we go then. Back when we were at war, things were really busy here. What with everyone making machines, selling parts and all. This also feels... somewhat relatable. Okay, so... Where are we? So we are now way over here, and our adventures... were mostly in this desert here... and across the ocean. We only got that far! We only got that fucking far before we were caught. We are not sneaky at all. But now we are way over here. This must have taken a long ass time to get here. Let's look at that. We have like all these mountains to cross and it's kind of kind of ridiculous. All right. So what do we have going on here? Shy to the north, Witchwood to the west, to the east. I'm gonna go up there and see what Shy it is. After seeing what all this is about. Goo count and a nut troop. Dodges enemy attacks, uses double blow every other turn. This sounds useful. Well, since we're here. Let's see, I think it was... yeah. Use Frost. And then Sever. But we'll just have you guard for a moment. Ah, uh, no, it didn't work. Oh, I had it backwards. I had it backwards, that's my mistake. Nina uses, well, yeah. Nina uses Summer first, and then Frost, and then Guard. Looks like Goo Count was counting something. Hmm. 
Oh, damn. There you go. Okay, so she may be a little bit too fast. I hope this doesn't actually kill it. Ah, uh, no. Okay. So the problem is, he is slower than the goo count. You know what, though? Okay, that does give him an extra hit, so... Oh, but he can't equip that. That's a pain in the ass. Let's see if we can find the hidden item in the area. Ooh, you know what? No, you stop that. Gonna bump Nina out there for a moment there. Stung by a caterpillar. Okay. Sometimes items drop from trees. Okay, it dodges enemy attacks while making a vicious attack of its own. Interesting. So, if we... Blinded you. And then use Sever and then use Frost. Will that chain up? Up, he parried that one. And that just outright killed him. Damn it. Oh, got berries. 